Hello guys, welcome back to another video of uh, YouTuber's life, and we have a, uh, a guest commentary uh, this time, my friend Jeebs. Hey, how you doing? So, uh, I've been watching a little bit of this, and you got some, uh, a little bit of progress going on there. You got your own place now? Uh, yes. Yep. Okay. Um. So, we're gonna be continuing the game. I'm watching him streaming this, so, like, uh, we're not in the same house, and I'm gonna be on a little bit of a delay. So, right now, I'm, like, uh, trying this one topic because uh, Jared asked me to come on here because sometimes it's hard to start a conversation with yourself. And I, like, uh, was watching this one YouTuber who was uh, talking about how he would do it. He, he uh, just Googled conversation starter. So I got that loaded up right now. And I'll ask you some simple questions, and you just give me your honest opinion, okay? Yep. All right, here we go. Uh, hit generate. If you could give one piece of advice to the whole world, what would it be? Wow, what a what an appropriate platform. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I have no idea. No idea. So Jared's standing on a podium and he was like, ladies and gentlemen of the world, I have one advice for you. I have no idea what I am talking about. Good day. I don't know why you sounded like John F. Kennedy. All right, let's see. We'll, we'll uh, start up another one. So it says... What would you do if you couldn't use the internet or watch TV for a month? Uh, go crazy. <laughs> now, me, I, I ended up doing this for a little while. Uh, I would most likely go outside. I would go swimming. Um, I would build shit. Like, uh, currently I'm building a, well, not at this very moment, that would be ludicrous, but, uh, every Wednesday and sometimes the weekends, I go out to my father's property and we're building a play pirate ship that, uh, the young ones can play on. It's, it's completely landlocked, so, you know, it's very nice and safe. So, let's see. What is the next one? What kind of music do you like to listen to? Uh, country, and sometimes maybe, uh, uh, I see. Uh, yeah, you're down with a clown until you're dead in the ground. I just listen to the music. I'm not really. I know. You know, I was I was listening about this uh, fan base of ICP called. Oh, uh, uh, they're like Jigglos, Juggalos. Juggalos, yeah. Juggalos, yeah. And mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. uh, there's these guys that I watch. Uh, I, I I tell you about them all the time. Game Grumps. Yep. And apparently, one time. They were Kagome, don't I'm talking about the juggalos. We can't talk right now. I'm not talking hmm. to you, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um they were talking about these two girls who oh. are juggalos. And or maybe they're called something else, the female version. I think they're just juggalos. Anyway. Like uh, uh they can juggalettes. juggalettes. Yeah. That that's that only makes sense. So, they would, uh, they came up with their own word. The Game Grumps, they called them like, a, oh, something like Spinnakers. That's it. So, all of 
the Game Grumps fan base, which is like in like five million or something like that, started going over to this one video of these girls talking and started calling them spinnakers, which is like a non-specific derogatory term towards nobody. It'd be like those darn spinnakers and throwing their cabbages. Eh. But yeah, I'm just going on a tangent. Uh, oh, I didn't answer the question to that. What kind of music I like? I like uh, electronica, uh, techno, house, electro swing. Basically anything that you can move to. I'm not really concerned about lyrics, which is a very important aspect of music. And I don't deny the people who do like that sort of stuff, but that's not important to me. All right. Let's see. Tell me about your dream house. Uh, it's in the woods. It's in the woods. My mother wants a house a lot like that. And Is it a one story, two story? One story with a basement. Hey, that's a good idea. Nice for storage in the basement. You can also uh, insulate that so that there's not a lot of sound. It would be perfect for recording in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm and, not too... And I could live off of the land. Yeah, actually, that's a good prospect. My father's property, uh, we have it so that it's on standby. Ah! Because this year we couldn't really get a crop in for personal reasons in my family's life but we'll get back on to it in the near future. We also have a barn that uh, can house, I don't know, like two cows, four cows, some pigs. We got some chickens in there right now. And we got a skinning and uh, meat cutting room, processing area. We're building a bone shed so that we can uh, skin the animals in that area. Like, I don't, like, I, I've told my audience this, but I don't think uh, your audience knows, is that I'm a descendant of a, like, I'm fourth generation uh, meat cutter. So, yeah, that's what we do. Okay. Oh, my dream house. I'm probably somebody who wants to live in the suburbs. Uh, I'd be happy with a two-story three bedroom one and a half bath place you know your 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 stereotypical suburban home yeah it would be me my wife and i would prefer to have a daughter but one child just one uh let's see would you rather lose an arm or a leg ooh A leg? You know what? I think I'm with you there, but could you tell me your reasoning for why? Uh, I do a lot with my my arms, my leg, uh, my arms, hands. Hmm. Mm. And like they do have wheelchairs. That was that was my first instinct to go after. Oh. Is that like uh, if I needed to go somewhere, I could just like push myself with a wheelchair. But if I don't have a hand and I fall down, then you know the the fall's gonna be harder, or I'm going to instinctively reach for something when I don't have it there. Not saying that one or the other is easier than the other. It's just like my own preference. Oh my god, what's this dude coming into your room for? Uh, he's <laughs> my roommate. Right, but like, uh, he doesn't live in your room. No, he comes to play on my stuff. It kinda... uh, okay, now that is douchey. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I heard a new term that I've never heard before. Uh, douche canoe? Okay. Have you heard of that one? No. 
that's like something that I heard the other day, and it's just like my go-to response for like immature like uh, retorts. Let's see. What is something that makes you smile? Uh, can you repeat that? What is something that makes you smile? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, my girlfriend and... Or... Uh, uh, fiancé and, uh... My... Uh... Seeing my dog. Yeah. That sounds like the right response. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mine is a lot more immature. Now, imagine having like a, a really perfect scene where like, I don't know, uh, a mother and daughter are sitting on top of a hill and it's sunset. And this, the daughter is like in her like late 20s and she was like, mom. I know that I've done a lot of things in my youth that I'm not proud of, and I hurt you, and I'm sorry about that, and I love you. And the mother is like, that's the only thing that I want to hear. And then there's this guy covered in bacon grease that just runs up right between them and then just farts really loudly. And he's like, you're never going to catch me. See, that's horrible if that ever happened in real life, but the thought... The thought of that makes me smile. <laughs> and any scenario where it, like, defies your expectation at that high of a level. Also, look at your character. Uh, he has, like, these, like... Is that, like... Did you set him up to have the gamer gear glasses? Uh, yeah, because I couldn't find, uh... <laughs> oh. Uh, glasses. You can't... You couldn't find... You couldn't... Okay, so they don't have regular prescription glasses in this game. Uh, seems not when I started. Oh, man. <laughs> I could just imagine a doctor, uh, you're, like, reading off the list thing, and it's like, ah, oh, your eyes are shit. Have these glasses, and they're just, like, regular sunglasses. And then your vision, <laughs> as a result, gets worse. Uh, what was the biggest lie? Eh, I don't know. Let's go. Uh, what would you do if you couldn't use the internet? Oh, you already asked that one. What is your earliest memory? Uh, no idea. Okay. What's the farthest back that you can remember? Four. What were you doing when you were four? Mine happens to be four as well. Getting adopted. Ah. Mine was, uh... Okay. My earliest memory is... I was waking up in the morning. And, like you said, I was four years old as well. And... I, uh... I was just learning how to, uh, like, my parents had, like, this little plastic potty in the uh, corner of my room. So if I, like, woke up in the middle of the night, I would be able to relieve myself and not piss myself in the bed. And I remember waking up, and I didn't see it anywhere. And I went down the hallway, and I looked in the backyard, and it was just out there in the yard. Because most likely my mom wanted to clean it out with uh, the garden hose or something like that. So that's my earliest memory. It's probably humiliating as all fuck, but that there it is. Uh, Call of Fury gameplay. Let's see. Would you rather have to sit all day or stand all day? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, maybe sit. Sit. See, I would have to ask a couple of, like, uh, questions along with